Margaret, darling. It is so wonderful to see you again. Yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> Honey, let me tell you, oh my word. I've been clutching my pearls all week. Your facelift is looking marvelous. I am so excited. You had a chance to see my doctor. She's fabulous. She did a wonderful job. Turn over here. Oh, darling, you look marvelous. It cut like 30 years off of your face. I'm not saying it was bad before. You know this, Margaret. You know it. <laughs> oh, you slay me, Margaret. But darling, you look fabulous. We must drink and toast to your new face. Woo! Mmm! She sure did a good job. <laughs> yes, she did. Woo! Yes, darling. Well, I just came from the most amazing, amazing trip in the world. So I flew to France just for lunch. Yes, I did. We just flew to France just for lunch. And while we were there, why not enjoy the sights and have lunch? Yes, it was it was marvelous. Marvelous. Yes. But honey, you would never believe what happened. I'm telling you. When I got home, it was absolutely marvelous. There were rose petals leading from my limo all the way to the front door. Can, can you believe it? Oh my God. And when I came in the house, there was candles and everywhere. Now, let me tell you, Margaret, now that's how you need to be treated. If you're treated any other way, then it's not the right way, darling. Absolutely not. <laughs> it was marvelous. And the rose petals, they were the finest in the world. The world. They flew them all over and they got them from Japan and flew them in just to spring them all over the ground. <laughs> oh my God. I felt like a beautiful princess or queen, whatever you want to call it. Darling, oh, I felt like royalty, which I am. You know I am, Margaret. You know I am. <laughs> so, darling, I put on my red dress. <laughs> and I wanted something snazzy on top. So I put on my most expensive jazzy pant leather top. And you know this. They made it. Specially for me. Yes, they did. Oh my God. Oh. And I took photos. We had the most wonderful photographer. We flew him in from Germany. He's the most Amazing photographer. He's even took photos of Beyonce. <laughs> oh, he's wonderful. You should use him with your new face and all. It'll be wonderful, Margaret. Oh my gosh. Oh, Margaret, let me tell you. Guess who I ran into? Oh, darling, darling. I ran into an old, old friend. You would never believe. I ran into Connie Chow. Connie Chow. You remember Connie Chow. Would you believe it? In France. France. She has the most expensive real estate in the world. The world. She rents the top of the Eiffel Tower. Yes, darling. Yes. She rents the top of the Eiffel Tower to the most famous dignitaries in the world. The world. Yes. And she couldn't believe. She asked me, did you hear about the news about Karen? <laughs> she even knew about the news about Karen. Yes. The catastrophic, conconic Karen. Oh, my Lord. How did she know about Karen, darling? All the way in France. Oh, my God. Yes. She knew the latest. But let me tell you what happened. How does she know, Karen? You wanna know? You know I'm not gossiping. You know this, Margaret. You know all this already. So I'm not gossiping. You know this. You know I don't gossip. <laughs> it's not what I do. 
But honey, you know she loves to give back to the community. So she built this property in the economically disadvantaged neighborhoods in our society today. And she built some affordable properties, but they look high class. High class! So, you know, so all types of people can move in there. So she loves to give back to the community. She didn't forget where she came from either. Do you know what I mean? You know. <laughs> you know, we all have some skeletons in the closet, and Connie Child is proud of hers. Let me tell you. Yes. So she rents this property, and one day she just happened to be in town. Just happened to be in town. So she's inspecting all of her properties and making sure everything's going well. Margaret, clutch my pearls. She said someone arrived at her property begging for one of her rental units. You know, the rental units are very nice. They're very nice. So, you wouldn't believe this. It was Karen. This was about 12 years ago. She remembers, Mark. She has a very good memory. 12 years ago, she rented the property to Karen. Can you believe it? Karen. She said Karen only had a duffel bag and she looked disheveled disorderly, disproportionate, disposed, and, and in dire strength. Yes! Oh my goodness. Right. So she rents the property to Karen, my doll. And she had no money. Can you believe it? She had no money. <laughs> what? So how did she expect to get an apartment with no money? And the nice ones too. Yes, but here's the thing. Karen's brother was working the property. Karen's brother Daniel was working the property. Yes, and you know he knows how to work all the pipes. He's the handyman. He's handling all the handwork there. More property, the water holes, the backup drainage. He uses a snake. <laughs> Maintains the pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Maintain the pipes in the back <laughs> with no WD-40. <laughs> He's a wonderful handyman. He knows how to work those tight spots. <laughs> So now we know where he gets it from, doll. He's very good in all tight spots. So anyway, Daniel begs Connie Chow to allow his sister to have one of the apartments. Because you know, he's in the basement and he didn't have any room for her. So he found a way to get Karen in. Yes, she moved in that same night, they didn't run any reports or anything. Connie Chow just felt sorry for her. And because she knew that Daniel was a hard worker. <laughs> and so she decided to let Karen in. I wonder what happened to Karen. Why did she look that way? I'm meeting up with Connie Chow. She has more of the story. Oh my goodness, what was she into? Why did she only have one bag? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh my God, the story, the stories that we hear. Oh my God, it's just getting crazy. What happened 12 years ago? And this is before she met a husband. Mm-hmm. So what was Karen into that she was down on her luck? Why does she look so disheveled, discombobulated, dismantled, and in dire straits? Why does she look that way? Oh my God. Oh, clutch my pearls, my love. Oh, dolly, dolly. Oh my goodness. As the Connie child told me all of that, I couldn't take it anymore. I had to go to the spa. I had to go to the spa. It just worked my nerves. And all of my pearls were about on the floor. There were no more pearls to clutch. Oh, <laughs> I
I need to go buy more pearls. I think I'll go down to the Gucci store and see if they have pearls or the Versace store. I need several, several sets of pearls for this tea. Oh, honey, but you know I don't gossip, Margaret. You know that. You, you know that. Oh, darling, it is always wonderful, wonderful to see you and your face. Looks marvelous. Jackie Newton did a fabulous job on your doll. Fabulous. You know, I may go and get a little more work done myself. You know, we can't have you outdoing me. <laughs> Maybe I'll get my toes done. Who knows? Who knows? All right, darling. We must do this again because we must find out what was Karen up to 12 years ago. Why was she down on her luck and had no money, had nothing, just a duffel bag? Lord, clutch my pearls.